Hi, I'm Dave Peterson with TC Life Safety. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about NFPA 3000 and the protection of our schools. I've been hearing a lot and reading a lot of articles about changes that are being made around the country. Uh, various uh, methods that schools uh, and school districts are using to try to, uh, try to modify the behavior when it has to do with fire alarms in the schools. One of the things that's happening in the Midwest is students are being taught not to evacuate when the fire alarm goes off. They're being taught to shelter in place. While somebody goes and checks a videotape to so look at the area where the fire is supposed to be, to verify whether it was a prank or if there was actual fire emergency, in which case they would go over the PA system and tell everybody to evacuate. Um, I'm an old school guy. I know that when a fire alarm goes off, time is of the essence. It's time to get up and get out. That's what we've been taught. Studies have shown that and with the modern day chemicals that are in furnishings, we have less and less time to evacuate, not more and more. Other things that schools are doing is uh, anywhere from uh, putting card access systems in so the doors are locked to actually physically putting deadbolts on the doors to keep people from using them. Those are ways of students to get out of a building when there's an emergency, fire, carbon monoxide, any kind of disaster. School's got to be evacuated. It's got to be evacuated immediately. I was reading uh, NFPA 3000, which has to do with the response to active shooters. And uh, Section 9 talks about facility preparedness. Talks about, you know, action plans. Um, and Section 4 talks about notification. Let me read this to you. 9.4.1 The notification process or procedure shall be designed so as not to confuse it with the building fire alarm signal. Not to be confused with the building fire alarm signal. So what they're telling us is not to modify our response to fire alarm but to give us something different. Something separate and distinct. They won't be confused with the fire alarm that tells the kids and the teachers to shelter in place. Um, I think I might have the answer to this, or an answer. If we could take a look at the school, it's kind of a basic layout of the school. Okay, so if you look at this map, you'll see that there are various entrances and exits that, on and, and any, any school. Um, this is a small, uh, a simplistic layout. But you know, schools were meant for kids to be freely flowing in and out. Um, so if you're not, if you're going to lock all the doors, or you're going to uh, put dead bolts on them, yeah, you're going to limit access to it, but you're also going to eliminate escape routes. Um, one way we can take care of this, especially if it's an older school, was built in the '40s or the '50s, it'll probably have a fire alarm in it, but it's not going to have an easy method to rewire a new system in, maybe put a mass notification system in it, anything like that. So what we have is WES Plus Wireless Emergency Notification System. Um, in a system in a school this simple, it could be as easy as four units. All wireless, all battery operated, Three to five year battery lifespan, bolt it to the wall, and you've got all of your exits covered. The two exits out on the two end up wings. You can stick one of these in a wall in the center so that you get the back entrance or the front entrance close to the principal's office where a small control system can be mounted or it can be left as, a, as kind of like a mobile device. So that if anybody sees or hears anything that's out of the ordinary, all they need to do is, is activate one of these manual call points. And all of these sirens and orange flashing lights will go off. Separate and distinct from the fire alarm system. Completely separate from the fire alarm system. Notifying everybody in the school to shelter in place. Um, it, it's simple. It's easy, you don't have to rewire your school. It's a mesh network so that 
all these units are all uh, transceivers. So the communication, the more devices you have, the better your mesh is, the better and stronger your network is. You have a fire alarm system. Maybe it has a dialer on it that has an extra zone so that you could have a unit like this input output unit connected to that dialer and have that dialer automatically call emergency responders, fire and police, and let them know through that separate zone on the dialer that it is an active shooter event. It's not a fire alarm. Some schools, uh, when they do uh, graduations, they set a tent up on the site. You may want to put some smoke detection at the tent. These devices are simple and easy to turn on. I'm going to turn this one on for you. It's, you notice no lights are blinking. It's not on yet. Okay, now the unit is active. See the yellow lights lit? It's telling you it's not communicating to anything yet. So we'll just tie it into the system. Wait for the green lights to come on. And now it's part of the system. Put it in the tent. Have your graduation. Graduation's all over. You take the unit. Three quick clicks. I've just turned it off. Store it for next year. This unit's giving you a little bit of beat because it did have a unit that was assigned to it. Now it's showing it's missing, so it does supervise the network. And uh, I'll just quiet that down because I don't like to be interrupted. So that's it. Simple, reliable, separate and distinct from the fire alarm system. You can go back to telling your kids that when they hear the fire alarm, they get the heck out of the building. And just tell them when they hear these units go off, they need to shelter in place. If you have any questions, please give us a call at TC Life Safety at 800-837-8175. Go on our website, which is www.tclifesafety.com. You can type in WES in the plus sign in the search bar. And go right to these units, see the pictures, see the prices. There's cut sheets and brochures under the document tabs below the pictures. And get all the information you need. Thank you, and have a life safety day. All right, so all you have to do is to set one of these things off is to push the button. Um, and I think I have a key here so I can sign this quickly.